Good morning. Yes, it's a very dangerous situation here. You see, I'm standing on the on ramp. You wouldn't be able to tell. It looks like a truck stop with all of these vehicles just at a dead standstill. And this is exactly how it looks for the next 20 miles or so. I just heard from the man we've been in contact throughout the morning who's been stranded in all of this. One of thousands of people stranded. And he says he is now moving. It's now clear where he is. I just got that text. Wanted to let you know. So there seems to be some positive change as these roads are maybe there's a clearing in sight. Keep in mind, these people have had no restrooms. They've had no fresh water, nothing to eat. So uh, this is really a matter of life and death for a lot of people. Uh, we will continue to follow up on this news that we just heard from our contact and see exactly where people are moving along. But as you can see, there is still a standstill here in London, Kentucky on I-75 northbound. And we'll continue to monitor this uh, dangerous situation throughout the morning. But for now, I'll send it back to you. We happen to find a number of people on their way back to Canada. They were traveling through for various different reasons. And uh, the Canadians actually told us, you know, gosh, uh, how come they can't get these roads cleared up in Canada? We see snows like this very often. And as, as you and I know, of course, as we all know, uh, a snow like this here in Kentucky, here in the southeast region of the United States is quite unprecedented. Uh, I spoke with one sheriff's office uh, official here in Laurel County, and he said that he can't remember a snow like this in not only his career, but his lifetime. So as you can see behind me, I, the, it looks like a truck stop, really. You have trucks and cars just going all the way down this on ramp to I-75 North uh, right here is the, where the traffic stands still um, kind of the end of it. So when eventually we see traffic moving on I-75 here, we will know this jam has cleared. But again, officials tell us this will be a matter of hours as they try to make their rounds to make sure people are OK to wake them up and to get I-75 North moving. We will continue to monitor the situation throughout the morning, um, but I guess the news is that things are improving slowly but surely, for now, I'll send it back to you. We just had a snowplow go through, plowing this on-ramp to mile marker 41 here on I-75 North, which is a good sign that they anticipate traffic will be flowing through here, at least at some point in the near future. A very dangerous situation, all hands on deck for local, state, and even national officials, and we will continue to monitor the situation. We're hearing from state officials that between here, which is mile marker 41 on I-75 northbound in London, Kentucky, stretching now only about six miles. That is that is the good news, only about six miles. Uh, that's where the standstill traffic is happening. Uh, at the end of that six miles, they have cleared the accidents that kept this road, this highway shut down uh, for hours. Uh, they cleared it, but the, the trouble is there are people who have been sleeping in their cars because, as you said, they've been stranded for 17 plus hours. Also, we're hearing from officials, some people flat out abandoned their cars. Truly a mess out here, one that is slowly but surely clearing up and we'll continue to update you on the situation here in London, Kentucky throughout the day. Back to you. Becca Habiger, thank you so much. You can imagine the feeling of freedom as people finally get out of this mess.